Hey Matt, it's Andrew again. Uh, I've located another issue, and uh, this is with Audio Home running inside of Unity. And I wanted to bring it up to you. I think you might already be aware of this, but I just want to make sure and maybe ask you some questions about it and see if there's maybe some kind of work around. Uh, so this issue pertains to the sample sequencer script. So I've got a blank Unity project here. The only thing loaded into it again is Audio Home and a single cycle waveform, which I will be loading into the sampler here. And again, just a basic audio mixer with one mixer for the test. And that's it. Nothing else added. It's just a one game object that I added all of these things to. Uh, I've got one MIDI note loaded here. And you have an option inside the sample sequencer to check loop. So I'm going to check that because it's a single cycle waveform. And I know that this issue will be resolved when you release your next synthesizer. However, uh, we are going to be launching our product in May. So I need some kind of workaround for that before this. Uh, now my first question is why is the number of voices uh, the minimum value 2? Because in this particular use case, I uh, would really like this number of voices minimum value to be one uh, because I just want it to play one note only and if it's looping as soon as the second note comes in they're going to overlap on top of each other and that's not what I'm looking for. I want this to just play one note at a time it has no other choice but to play one note at a time. So um, now, now that I have it set to looping we'll go ahead and play And so here, we hear the sound stacking up, stacking up, but each time it comes back around, because it's a single cycle waveform, sometimes it's stopping in the middle of the waveform and we get a pop, we get an audible pop. Um, so, so two things that I'm looking for from this. Um, the first thing is that I would like to see the ability to take the number of voices down to one, because then that would prevent the overlapping and that's causing problems for me. And the second thing is that audible pop. I know in your script, uh, somewhere I saw it briefly that there is it's supposed to be a like a 0 0.01, like a, like a one millisecond. Um, uh, you know, fade at the end of each of these to prevent a clip, but when I change that, it doesn't seem to do anything. Um, I've have tried changing that value, and it doesn't seem to do anything. So, uh, my question is, is, is there some kind of workaround uh, that you're aware of to, to keep that from popping? Because uh, this is meant to be just a drone sound that will kind of continue almost endlessly, and I uh, just want it to uh, you know, be able to play and uh, without any uh, pops and things like this. So let me know uh, if you have a good solution to this problem um, or some modifications to the script that we can use. And that would be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much.